Drew and Stu are on the air. Ready? Ready? Whether you're fading with Drew or riding with Cam, this is the place to get your weekly NFL picks. Powered by Sports Interaction, your homegrown sportsbook. Always remember to bet local. Hello and welcome to episode two of week nine of the Drew and Stu podcast, Cam. Uh, we're going to make some changes today. Just a few, not as much as usual. You said on the Tuesday show that you might have 11 changes, uh, but you coming down today, you're saying just one? One change, Drew, one change, and uh, I'm playing the old angle. Losers out, new guys in. Isn't it amazing, <laughs> too? Like, I'll, I'll tell you right now, if the Raiders, so the Raiders are still pay, paying John Gruden yep. 10 years on a guaranteed deal. Yep. They had Brasaccia bred for nothing. He was literally one play away from beating Cincinnati on the road. Then they get rid of him, hire McDaniels, and honest to God, like, what are you, like, the, the, the money... And the decisions the Raiders have made, it's insane to me. Gabe brought up a good point on our show, though. Mark Davis, he owns the Las Vegas Aces. They won the WNBA championship, like, back-to-back. Like, all of his other properties are great, except for the football team. He can't figure well, it out. You know why? It's because he, he gets hands off with the other ones. He just watches. Yes, the Raiders yes, are, like, his call. like his toy. Like uh, but, yeah, how do you give McDaniel? We said it when they hired him. You're just giving this guy six years? What, what did he do to deserve a six-year deal? Like New, it, new rule, Drew? Anybody off the New England Patriot tree? No higher. Patricia with chicken wing bones in his beard stinks. McDaniel yep. stinks. Like all these guys, like Bill was good, but his little cronies, they've all sucked when they've had. Real I'd say, I will say Bill O'Brien was the only one I'd say was decent because he took Bill Houston in the playoffs. Bill O'Brien was horrible. No, but they won some playoff games. They won 10 games a season. Like he was decent in Houston when they got Deshaun Watson and Hopkins. So, and like the point is, if you're thinking Bill O'Brien is the best of the bunch, oh, I know. It's a problem bad. here. It's yeah. bad. Yeah, it's bad. The Andy <laughs> Reid coaching tree. Like it, it compare in comparison to the Belichick coaching tree, yeah. Andy Reid's is like no Andy Reid's like an oak tree, and the yeah. other one's like a little shrub that you take a piss on, like and it's dead, <laughs> like it, it's a joke. Exactly. Right, it's and and I, I, you see the rumors that Bill Belichick might be traded to Washington in the off season. I was like, what? Uh, Bill Belichick's going to retire in the off season. Why the hell there, would he go to Washington? No, I don't think he retires because he's twenty wins away from the record. I think he goes oh, until yeah. he gets that. Good call. Um, Good call. But they're saying that he won't have a choice, that they're just going to trade him there. And I was like, huh. you think he accepts that? Like, he might be like, get the hell out of here. Uh, I don't know. And Good why would Washington your bills, though, Drew. You got, at least you guys got a DB. Kind of helps things out. Yeah, Roswell Douglas. Uh, yeah, it was a good. It was a weird trade deadline. Uh, I didn't. What did you think of, before we get into the picks and changes, what did you think of yeah. Minnesota getting Josh Dobbs instead of Jameis Winston? I think Josh Dobbs is serviceable, but I think Winston could be a good quarterback. He's one of those yeah. guys, if you give him time, like, We've seen him do well. Like, he's a guy, he'll throw, like, 35, t- but he'll, he'll throw a lot of interceptions, but he'll throw a lot of touchdowns. Like, I kind of like Jameis Winston. I, I, I did, like, I know he stole, like, seafood in college, but they're really holding <laughs> things back with it. Like, he must he must have done something or whatever because I don't think he's getting a fair shake. I it think what they're right. thinking is they need a competent backup behind Carr so you can't trade Winston, so, which, I, which I understand. Like, you, no, you can't I just deal this guy. Um but Josh Dobbs, he's serviceable. I think Minnesota can still make the playoffs, Cam. Uh, the bottom of the NFC is a joke. I think Dobbs might be able to get them to 9-8, and eight, which right. is all you really need. You're right. So, all they have to uh, do is all he has to do is get a little bit of protection. They got great receivers. Hawkinson's an animal at tight end. Addison's yep. wicked. Osborne's good. You're right, Drew. Like if they find If their offensive line can hold up, I agree with you. Yeah, the issue is, do you think uh, they said it's Hall starting this weekend? Um, so that kid, it's gonna be that's rough. that's not good. That's uh, that, I, I put Dobbs, but they, yeah, he's got to learn the offense. That's kind of unfortunate, but I'm telling you, BYU quarterbacks year one, that's a recipe for disaster, bro. Sports Interaction is your homegrown sportsbook where local takes on an entirely different meaning, focusing on the teams, games, and players that matter to you. Sports Interaction is on the ground on top of all local trends, offering prop bets that you'd never even imagine existed. I saw one uh, today, Cam. When yep. will the San Jose Sharks win their first game of the season? Tonight, two games or three games from now, or five or six games from now. And I was you think like, the these, Canucks, these... You think the Canucks lose to the Sharks or no? No, I think the it's a bad them, spot so I, for Vancouver, but talk it's got them playing. So I'm gonna have to say, I, I like the maybe. I like if you pick the San Jose Sharks first one to come four to five games from now, it's six fifty to plus six fifty. So, oh, I like that. Uh, Do you know my uh, bet, Drew? 
plus 310. Sharks to be the worst team in the NHL. Ding, 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 ding. Plus what a bet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, Sports Interaction's got everything from same game parlays, Cam to Casino, featuring thousands of games and live 24 7 dealers, giving you that Vegas experience any time of day. Come for the sports, stay for the casino. Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN to open an account. Bet local 19 plus. Please play responsibly. If you have any questions or concerns about your gambling or the gambling of someone close to you, please go to conicsontario.ca. All right, Cam, let's get into Thursday night quickly. Uh, all been one, there. Yeah. one prop, Cam, I like tonight. Will Levis under 1.5 touchdowns passing. Uh, How about Will always... Levis? What is two picks? I know. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's all in the hype train, Like, oh, this guy's going to kill him tonight. I'm like, he's going to get he's murdered. Tomlin's defense in Pittsburgh. <laughs> like, he might have under 200 yards passing, two picks. Like, this might be a rough go for Will Levis. I think Will Levis' stat line is going to be 11 for 28, 148 yards, zero touchdowns, two picks. It sucks that Fitzpatrick's out for Pittsburgh because if he was taking these deep shots, it'd be oh, pick city, pick, pick, pick. Uh, right. But uh, yeah. it, it still might be. It still might be, Cam, because uh, those deep shots he was hitting last week are not working against the Pittsburgh Steelers. TJ Watt's going to have a field day. I might take, like, first touchdown what's his, Steelers what's defense. his sack prop? Uh, his stack prop is, let me look at it quickly here. T- uh, to record a sack, if it's anything under like a buck sixty, it's a lock. Defense, especially in t- uh, it's my, it's two hundred minus two hundred okay. to get. A How sack. about two sacks? Uh, they don't offer that. Uh, you know what? So. I think they might have it in specials, but anyway, if you guys can find it, TJ Watt two sacks, that'll probably be what do you think? Plus money? You got it's got to be like plus one twenty or something like that, right? Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try and get Steelers defense to score two touchdowns. Uh, Ooh. I think that might Old. pay a bunch of money, Cam. Like we're talking like a hundred to one, so I might put a little sprinkle on that. How about first uh, touchdown of the game, defensive touchdown by Pittsburgh? Like Levis just sits back there, throws up a duck, bam, party's on. Like I, that. That is forty to one for, for what for defensive touchdown, first touchdown for first TD, first first TD. Oh yeah. my God, you got a sprinkle. Twenty yeah. bucks gets you eight hundred. Twenty five gets you a dime. That's not. What? I'm doing it. Twenty five yeah. bucks gets you a dime. Done. A little sack fumble return TD. The first play of the game. Like I could see some crazy stuff happening like that. Agreed. Um, and yeah, another prop I like tonight. Cam Tajay Spears over uh, sixteen and a half yards receiving. I think they're going to be all over him. He's going to be check down city, check down city. Uh, excuse me, Tajay Spears. Oh, sorry, over fourteen and a half, not fifteen and a half uh, receiving a- yards. I'll take that. We had a couple sharp guys on our show, and we he was the one we talked about with Kincaid, Drew. We all hit Kincaid, and we are yep. breaking down this game last night on uh, the late night show. And uh, the Tennessee tight end, Ogok, how do you pronounce it? Ogok- Oconquo. 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 Yeah. yeah, Oconquo, over yep. receptions, over yards. That's the, like, I actually go, that because Will Levis does throw to tight ends. It's true. 25 and a half yards for Oconquo tonight, and receptions That's are only too low. Half. You'll get about 46, I'm thinking. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see with that Steelers front cam. 46 may be a Actually, lot that's a good ask. point. We said Levis is going to throw for like a buck 11. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oconquo's yeah. got to be the guy, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. We said he's going to throw a buck 11. We both like two overs on his receiving props. Uh, yeah, that's uh, hilarious. All right, let's get into some switches, Cam. Uh, what is your one and only change of the week? Let us hear it. It's kind of shocking, Drew. Uh, I, I, th- I, I wanted to change a few, but I'm not going to screw around. So I'm going to take... Uh, Jeez, what happened here in the screen? There you, there you are. I'm going to take the Raiders instead of the Giants. Basically, and explain why. I have no, like, I'm not going to say, I run the simulations. I have answers. First of all, I like Aiden O'Connell. I liked him at Purdue. I think at least he'll make some mistakes, but I think he's better than Hoyer. And Jimmy Garoppolo is a walking nightmare. He's just banging escorts. Don't worry about him. <laughs> this guy is awesome. And I'm going to tell you something. It's going to take a while, but he's a grinder. Raiders are going to show up. They got rid of McDaniels and the other Stooges. Everybody's going to be loose this week. I'd actually think Devontae Adams actually, and know what? O'Connell, we might have to look for Devontae Adams because he needs to have a good relationship with this guy. Adams is like, man, 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 give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. This quarterback, if he figures it out with him, they're going to have a nice little friendship. Yeah, I mean, Devontae Adams' prop is only 73 and a half yards. Like, he's, you're not going to get a star receiver like that so low. I kind of like the over game. there if, 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 if O'Connell doesn't gag, don't you think? Yeah, that's the issue. The Giants' D has looked very good the past few weeks. 
So, I mean, I mean, Cam, you know I love the Giants this week, so I'm not switching to the Raiders with you. Um, but what I am doing, because of your confidence, the Raiders, it scared me off of the Giants being my silver selection of the week. So my silver selection, Cam, is now the Cleveland Browns against the Arizona oh, Cardinals, minus boy. seven and a half. I know they're your bronze pick, so I'm hopping on with my silver. And usually when we both have the same best bets or same range, it works out well. I think Cleveland might shut out Clayton Toon and the Cardinals at home. Here's the thing. I worry about the bet, but the reason I bet it is exactly what you said. Name that tune is going to be like, name that injury. Like, I don't know if he's going to be finishing. Like, Schwartz does good things to great quarterbacks. What they did to yes. Purdy and all these other guys. This guy literally, Drew, I think he might throw like three or four picks. Like, I think it's going to be a disaster. I think their team total, like, go under. I think they probably score in this game, I'm thinking at the most, at the most, nine. So if yeah. Cleveland gets 17, we cover. Exactly. That's and what I think I'm they'll thinking. be, I think they'll have a easy enough time getting there. Um, Deshaun Watson or not, they still don't know if he's playing. Uh, he's I don't know not if you playing. want him. To, <laughs> they don't, like, do you want him to play? Like if you're Cleveland, like do you want I him don't. to play? I'd rather PJ Walker's all right. Stefanski screwed that up. That wasn't all on Walker. That was a bad, just bad play calls. Yeah. Walker does like giving the ball to the other team though, which uh, we don't want well, to and see. And what's Deshaun um, do? He's lazy and he makes mistakes oh, too. He also throws some stupid picks too. You're right. Um, all right, Cam, my one switch of the week is going to be the Minnesota Vikings to the Atlanta Falcons. I told you on the Tuesday show that something was weird about this game, so I like Minnesota strictly because of that. But now that I know Jaron Hall's for sure starting, Atlanta's fired up, and they're starting our boy Heineke, which I said Atlanta would be better if they would just start Heineke. Uh, they're finally listening, Cam. I think all the receiver props are going to go over. Uh, I don't like that Drake London's likely out for this football game. That doesn't help them. But I think Van Jefferson and, and all these guys are good enough to fill in. They're going to run the football anyway. Uh, so give me Atlanta minus four and a half uh, to beat this Minnesota Vikings team. I think uh, we might see Dobbs in this game, surprisingly. Like by the fourth quarter, they might be like, you know what? Get out of here, Hall. I'm on, I'm on Atlanta, too. I think it's a good spot for them. And you don't want to lay points with this team, Drew. But I got to tell you, don't worry about London. They got so many other weapons. Like is Patterson still healthy? They can run end rounds with him and stuff. They got a million guys. It's just about getting other guys into the system, right? And this would be a good week to actually like run Bijan uh, Robinson and Algier into the ground. Like that's what you do to, to get a running attack, right? Yeah, well, unless unless Bijan's got some headaches, Cam, then you can't use him. Like they said, remember that guy's an asshole. That coach for doing that. That's a real snake move. What he did. Yep, it is. Uh, all right, Cam. Let's get into our props of the week. Brought to you by Sports Interaction. Head on over to sportsinteraction.com/sdpn for the latest. Nineteen plus. Please play responsibly. Cam, I know you love the anytime TD market, so let's hear it. What's your first anytime TD prop of the week? Well, let's start in Germany. We're going to go to uh, hammer some pork knuckles and some steins and just get absolutely tuned. Watch out for gypsies. That's a very dangerous place in Europe, man. I'll tell you something about the, the European pickpockets. Best in the world. Be you got to keep your head on a swivel. Tyree Kill, I'm going to take him, Drew. I don't care what the juice is. They're going to find a way to get him a touchdown in that game. I think he's going to be one of those guys that gets there. As for Kansas yep. City, I'm not sure what I want to do. Maybe a running back instead of Kelsey. Like, who do you like on, on the Kansas City side? But I bet he'll. Uh, probably Kelsey. Like, I know it's obvious, but like, uh, maybe, they, maybe can't Pacheco. We go with Pacheco, else? like, the yeah, Miami defense isn't good. So it's, I, like I think that a lot of people might score. I think, like I said, when I picked this game as my gold pick, Mahomes is throwing four touchdowns in this game in my mind. So I think they're all, it's getting sprayed everywhere. Okay, that, that's cool with me. So Kelsey will get one, whatever. I'm just going to take Hill and I'm going to take Pacheco because I think he'll get some uh, goal line touches. All right, well, that leads into my one, my first favorite prop of the week, Cam. That's Tyreek Hill over 92 and a half yards. It's a revenge game. He's been over 103 of his last four games. And the only under, he was at 88 yards. So it wasn't much under 92 and a half. And I think uh, they feature Hill a lot in this football game. And he's going to be doing the peace sign and being like, this is why I went to Miami, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think he'll get utilized heavily, like you said, touchdown prop. So I like him over 92 and a half yards. What's your next anytime TD market? Anytime TD. Let's go with Pollard of the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys, even though CD Lamb was an absolute monster, I think they have to establish a run game. And I think Pollard's going to be one of those guys. Remember the parlay last week, Drew, with Mostert Eckler? Pollard was yep. the odd man out in the, in the three man. So it went two out of three, but I hit the two man because we did the round robin. But yep. I'm going to say this. I wouldn't be surprised if Pollard had two touchdowns in this game. So I'm going to actually take him for a touchdown. Jalen Hurts at the goal line. The old, what, a tush push? You call it? Yeah, the yeah, tush, push. tush push. Like he seems They to faked almost... it last week. He, you know he what, was going to get it, and they, they handed it off to Swift. You know what? You're right. 
You got me thinking, Drew. I haven't made this bet yet, but I wrote down Hurts slash Swift. I'm going to take Swift, and it's also for a selfish reason. He's my fantasy, one of my fantasy flex running backs. So <laughs> get I'm some good juju Swift. his way, dude. I'm on fire. Ginger Bear, my team's on fire this year, man. I, I was seven and one. I should have been seven and one. I lost by a half point, but six and two, tied for the lead with Fast Talk and Mike, crushing Ooh. my fantasy league. Yeah, That's he's good. a Green That's Bay good. Packer fan. Now it's personal. After what yeah, those I, cheese heads I love did to hear me last can. week, twenty grand. Slap. Packers, stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of my picks is in that game as well, so I'll give it to you right now. Yep. Dak Prescott, over two, 248 and a half yards passing. Over this in five of his last six games, and we've seen even from Sam Howell, the Eagles' defense against the pass is very shaky. 26th against the pass in the NFL camp, so 248 is way too low for Dak. I think the Eagles win this whole game, uh, so I think he's going to be thrown from behind. Even if he's not thrown from behind, I think this number's too low because this is how you're going to beat Philly. It's going to be through the air. Uh, so I love this number, Cam, 248, too low. What do you think? I think, you know what? The thing about Prescott is he gets a lot of bad flack, but he always plays well versus the Eagles. People don't understand. Like, that's one team he's actually fired it up against. Like, he puts up numbers. I'd like to see them win more, but you know me. I think the Cowboys can hang in this game, but I like the pick, Drew. I, I, well, I think, and even if it's garbage time, Cam, 248. He, he not get even that in garbage, garbage time. time. Even if they're leading, they're going to have to take shots downfield. Ferguson, yeah. they're going to have to go to Lamb. They're going to gallop. Like, they're going to be tossing it all over well, the Well, we know, about, like McCarthy – doesn't know how to manage a clock cam, so they'll be throwing even if they're not supposed to be. <laughs> good point. But the, the one thing is, Dallas, I think they're going to spread it out pretty good this week. They're going to go to a lot of different guys. And Philadelphia, one thing their weakness is, that's why I took Dallas, Drew, you can score on these guys. Look at Washington. Oh, yeah. Like, like their defense is not elite, like, by any stretch. Like, they can make plays, but they also, they're not Their front that, four like, is elite. That's that's what they, that's what they have there. Their front four is elite. Good call. Yes. You. Um, all right, Cam, my next one is Jonathan Taylor over 64 and a half yards rushing. He's been over that number in two straight games with 95 and 75. He's the clear number one running back now, and they're playing the Panthers 29th ranked rush defense. I think Taylor gets a heavy dose of carries today. I'm talking 30 carries for a buck 80, two touchdowns, three touchdowns. I think we're going to be see like Jonathan Taylor's coming out party this weekend when Indy smokes the Carolina Panthers, Cam. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can win your prop, but don't, don't be messing with my, uh, with my cat. I'm going to take oh, yeah. Taylor. No, what? I'm going to, I'm going to take Taylor with you though. I, I would take him for an anytime touchdown. And if they're at the, what, he's just going to bang it in. Right. He's, oh, yeah. he's a safe option. So what's his juice? It's only, it's not that much either. Isn't it? Uh, it's what, probably, it, I'm guessing minus minus one forty would be my I think guess. It's like 35 or 40. That's fine. Anything under like 60. Is, I think that's fine. No, what everyone talks about, Oh, juice. Don't leave it. Juice is only a problem when you lose. If he gets a touchdown, it's fine. So yeah, who get cares? A touchdown. Right. Um, all right, Ken, what's your next one? Gus the Bus Edwards against my Seattle Seahawks. All they do right now is Gus is the guy. Justice Hill might get a couple D D D little little uh you know dink and dunks, but Edwards is the guy at the goal line. So I think you got to protect Lamar too. I this guy moving forward, Drew, I, he's gonna have a lot of touchdowns because you can't have Lamar Jackson like heading into the playoffs, getting beat down and doing that stuff. Gus is the guy at the goal line. Baltimore has to be smart. I think Harbaugh understands that. It's plus 122. I thought I was going to lay 20. I'm getting 20. Give me Gus the bus. And I have another one in the same game. This line might not be out, guys, but it will be. I'm why I'm a Seahawks fan. I'm going to tell you, Kenneth Walker is amazing, but I've been watching what they're doing with Charbonnet now. He's getting a lot of balls out of the backfield. He's doing a lot of things. I think they're going to line him up. I'm telling you, his numbers are going to be so low, and I really like what he did. I, I have a feeling he's going to be a bigger part of the offense against the Browns. Oh, sorry, who are they playing again? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, uh, uh, Ravens. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but he was a be- – sorry, bigger part. He was good against the Browns. He could have even done more. I'm telling you, Drew, watch out for this guy. You know him. Michigan Wolverine, UCLA Bruin. The guy's a good back, man. He's strong as hell, <clears> too. Like, he's underrated. If Walker wasn't so good – He'd be good on another. Like he's a very, very yeah. good complimentary back. I like I like his receiving prop more than his rushing. That's why if you're going to take it, I think you do the rushing plus receiving, like the prop yep. where it's total yards together. Um, but yeah, I like it. They're starting to use him more. So if you're a Walker fantasy owner, might be a time to sell high on Walker while you can. Well, before Charbonnet takes over, Cam. I don't think he's going to take over. I just think it's going to be. He's going to keep biting into get, it. Yeah, he's going to take a nice chunk of his carries. Let's put it that way, and he'll be the guy catching balls out of the backfield. Uh, Kim, my last two props for week nine are ones that I've taken three weeks in a row and they've hit three weeks in a row. Josh Allen over one and a half touchdowns, uh, passing five straight games. He's hit this over cam and six of his last seven people just keep talking trash about him and he keeps just hitting two touchdowns passing and one rushing. Um, even if they lose this game, he's going to throw two touchdowns, right? I think so. Well, what are you going to do? Like they might get a goal line carry. I'm going to tell you something. 
I think Allen is going to play this game like the Super Bowl, and you see the Bills fan run, run instead of run for us, run, run, Josh, run. Like yeah. I think this game because he has so much pent up anger from what Cincinnati has done. Any time that he's going to have a lane instead of just thinking about it, I don't think he cares. Even if the coaches say we don't want you hurt, he's going to go. Don't worry about it. I'm a big guy. Bam, stiff arm, stiff arm. I'm telling you, I really believe the Bills can hang in this game and win this game, Drew. I, I, I know everyone's going to be on Cincinnati, but you have to look at their full body of work. Yep. What have they real? Okay, let's let's be honest. They beat the NFC West. How, how many NFC great teams. games have they played? And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Seattle would have beat them on the road if not for DK Metcalf's offensive pass interference thing. They were driving in for the winning score. I know. Actually, we talked about it last night. And, and this guy's a Bengals fan. He was telling me, he goes, the Seahawks should have won that game for fun. And I watched the game. Yes, they actually outplayed them. Don't worry. And Arizona Buffalo, was in tight with them too for a bit. Dude, I'm telling you, if, if, if Buffalo plays a game and Allen doesn't do like bad picks in the red zone and stuff, they can win this game. I'm on Buffalo. And their defense was great against San Fran. It was very good, but Purdy didn't have his full arsenal of weapons. And we've I've You're been right. on the Purdy isn't as great as everyone thinks train this whole season. Um, I don't know, Cam. It's a different beast when you're facing Josh Allen versus the the carousel of QBs the Bengals have faced so far this season. Can Bengals win this game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm on them. I think they win it close one, but I think it'll be a high-scoring affair. I'm thinking like 28-24. Like it'll be close. They're both going to score some points. It's not going to be that messy snow game we saw in the playoffs. It'll be good weather. Uh, Hopefully, that score. If, no, no, 28-27. If the Bengals win, I'm just okay. Fair, 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 fair. I'm just saying, I'm on the Bengals side. Oh, yo, I so forgot you're yeah, on the yeah, yeah. dude. You're a Buffalo fan. You're betting against your team this week. I know. Oh, I know. and and you know, who since are you? Been, who are you, bag man? He, since he, he's he, been drafted, Cam uh, Josh Allen on. best best win loss record hold, in prime time. Drew, game. I'm going on. Uh, I'm going on Fanatics. Drew. Travis Kelsey, Chiefs jersey, and uh, <laughs> no. Bengals jersey. Do you want Burrow or Chase, Drew? No. Which, no what, what, what suits no, you? No. Stick with the Bills, buddy. Don't let your team down. This is the week. This is the week. Do I switch? You want me to switch the Bengals to the Bills? I'll, I'll make you a deal because you're going to get me those beautiful steaks from your uh, stepdad store. By the way, these guys are – don't you guys like – doesn't he outfit to like Roos Chris and like the best like steakhouses in the land? Uh, let, let's just say it's called – Qu- premium meats. I'm not getting these things at no frills. And I'm yeah. gonna tell you this: I'll make you a deal. You're getting me those steaks and chicken, and I actually now that I'm gonna see you this Sunday, give me a, a, like a huge care package, and I'm gonna do something for you. What do you want? Like, what's your bottle of liquor for choice? Like, do, what do you like to drink? Like, do you like any liqueurs or anything? I'm a like whiskey that? guy. I'm a whiskey. You know what? Guy, so... I'll get you a bottle of whiskey, and you're giving me all those steaks. You tell me, I will buy you a bottle of whiskey, your choice, as long as it's not 500 bucks. Like something reasonable. No, something like I'm simple. not saying cheap. No, I'm not saying no, cheap, but I'll, Jack I'll go Daniels medium. Or uh, Jack Daniels. Ah, no, nah, we'll do better than that. I'm just saying, you take the bills. What are they? Are, are we getting three? Or are we getting two? Uh, it's two and a half. Oh, I really like that three, but I'll still take them at two. Drew, if the bills don't cover this week, you, you're giving me the meats already. I get you the whiskey. Done deal. All right, sure. Making the switch on the show. Uh, uh, doing it for Cam. We're going in it together. Uh, I'm telling well, you, the Bills are going to show up this week, and you're. Going we'll to win that. together, Thank then, Cam. Uh, we'll win I together. So. Uh, and if my not, last... you get whiskey. There you That's go. true. Um, my last prop of the week, Cam, Mister Automatic. He's been this for uh, five straight games, Cam. Like I keep saying, I keep saying every week, Adam Thielen, sixty-eight and a half I yards like over that number until they make this like seventy-five or seventy-seven. I'm keep going back to the well, Cam. Bryce Young's favorite target, and he keeps going over. Why? Like, look, I have to, right? He keeps coming out red. You go red. You don't switch to black on a roulette wheel. No, you don't. Uh, they're playing the Colts, right? Yep. I think Carolina, like I, I would look at like a lot of guys I, that, that game, actually Carolina for the first time might actually get into the deep, deep twenties or early third. Like, like, cause Indy's defense reeks, like it yep. reeks. Don't you should, think? This, this game might be the highest scoring game of the weekend, Cam. The I, I, I know. I think it's going to be like 34, 31, somebody. And I do like uh, Jonathan Mingo. His line's not out yet, but whatever. I it love is, Mingo. Uh, they're starting guy. to use him now, uh, so I think they might take a few deep shots to him. It's probably going to be like twenty nine and a half yards. Uh, so whoever it is, I will take it. Uh, Cam, any any more anytime TD props before we get out of here? I do have one question. I've been told by people that uh, so is Jones starting for the Giants? Like, what's is it? Yeah, Daniel confirmed? Jones is starting. Daniel Jones is starting. Oh, I really wanted to see Danny DeVito out there getting moved. No, Tommy DeVito would have been. <laughs> Tommy uh... DeVito from Syracuse is awful. Yeah, and I, so that, that I'd love my Raiders pick. I'd actually put it in the minerals. Okay, so so Jones is starting. Interesting, interesting. That's why I like the won- Giants game. He hasn't played in a while. He could be rusty, but I don't know. Uh, 
what's the guy's name again? Bagels? Uh, the uh, Bears? Badgett. Badgett? Yeah, yeah. Badgett. This is from a friend. This is a test thing, the running things and whatever. This is We're going to play this one, and it's on him if it loses because he told me this is the one that the computer says is a, a great pick. Badgett, under 13 and a half rushing yards. He's actually gone minus, whatever. He had one run for 20 yards or whatever. Big deal. If he doesn't do it again, he's going under. Yep. I mean, uh, I like that prop cam. I mean, when you don't hit over 10 yards rushing in two of your three starts, uh, it means you're going to go under most likely. Uh, the only thing it ha- only time it happens, Cam, is when the pocket breaks down and he sees some crazy lane. Like, that's yeah. such an odd play to happen. So I, I like that pick, Cam. Um, all right, let's recap your picks here on the screen for everybody. You have the Pittsburgh Steelers minus two and a half tonight. The Dolphins plus two and a half. Falcons minus four and a half. Seahawks plus five and a half. Browns is your bronze at minus seven and a half. The Packers minus three. Bucks plus three is your gold. The Patriots minus three is your silver. The Saints minus seven and a half. The Panthers plus three. Vegas minus two and a half. Cowboys plus three. Bills plus two and a half. And Jets plus three on Monday night football. Cam, uh, you liking all those picks? You feeling confident this week? Not really, no. I'm actually worried about, know what I'm worried about, Drew? The Chargers game. Is this the time where the Chargers actually don't charge her and win by like a touchdown and start to figure it out? I'm getting a weird vibe that they actually might like, win by margin but i'm gonna stick with the jets yeah the- i don't know i don't see it cam they never do what they're supposed to do they're the chargers people a leopard could uh, you're right isn't the saying a leopard can't change its spot yeah it's exactly like, i was gonna yeah, do like the you're gonna say a leopard can change, change its, its spot. spots yes. so i'm a complete idiot yes i'll, I'll <laughs> stick with the jets but i got a weird vibe about that game so i'm just gonna fair enough I, uh, I love your mingo pick by the way i'm gonna ride your wave there that guy's actually a good receiver uh, my picks cam recap for the viewers uh, Steelers minus two and a half Chiefs minus two and a half is my gold Falcons minus four and a half Seahawks plus five and a half Browns minus seven and a half as my silver Rams plus three Bucks plus three Pats minus three Saints minus seven and a half Colts minus three is my bronze Giants plus two and a half Eagles minus three Bengals oh sorry not Bengals switch the Bills plus two and a half and Jets plus three. Uh, we have a lot of the same picks on the board this week, Cam, so that means it's going to be successful, right? Successful Whiskey week. picks, yep. The, I will say this to the people. I know everybody's going to tell you. And I, my big speech is, like, again, we have other guys on, oh, you can't tease through zero. I, I, I'm like, I've had enough of this stuff. I really, like, stop telling people how to gamble. We'll do. Yep. We'll, we'll figure it out ourselves. We're doing pretty good. If it's blackjack, it's one though, thing because there's rules, but, like, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. If the dealer has a six and you have like a seventeen and you hit, like I, I'll grab you. Like we'll do hockey fights. Like the shirt's over, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. out of the casino. But the bottom line is this, Drew. I don't want to play the coward's way out, but guys, I think this week is a super teaser week for the small dogs. All these might two be- and a halfs and one and a halfs, you get them to eight and a half, nine and a half. Like, and don't worry about twenty cents, thirty cents. Do what you want to do. If you want that extra point and pay, like people talk about. Well, you know, I'm playing the guy comes up to me he's like what about your bank i go i don't have a fucking bankroll i bet what i bet like some days i bet more some days i bet less it depends how i feel like there's no bankroll like anyway that's the way i'm just i mean we do you do have limit though like we all have limits limits. but but i don't say this day i'm going to play exactly a hundred dollars again no some days you go more some days you know what i mean you parlay like i i i Drew, I'm basically a guy. I want the buck. You base it off a feel, which a lot of people do. I do as well sometimes. Like I have a strict, like I won't go over X amount, but I have an X amount where if I really like a pick, I go that amount. But I'm not going to be like, oh, I really like this one. Here's seven hundred dollars. But I'll be like, you know what? It's my favorite amount. Here's two units. Here's three units. Yeah. Um. But like, yeah, I won't be like, I need to bet one unit on everything. No. I'll just people like, are like well, yeah, it's like they they do this thing. It's like, wow. So you're you're telling me like you don't like a game more than another game? Like anyway, I'm different though because I bet golf, I bet every sport. So I don't want to like, hey, know what my lesson is to people, Drew? Do what you want to do. Exactly. Don't listen to people. I so laugh when people turn. They're like, oh, you want a golf bet, but you only put five bucks on it. I was like, yeah, yeah still well, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Who cares? No, what you put on that golf bet zero. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Are you kidding me? By the way, in golf, JJ Spawn, 38 to 1 this week. That's right. I like it, Cam. I like it. All right, Cam, let's get out of here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please like and subscribe on YouTube to the STPN YouTube channel and download, rate, and review this podcast on all audio platforms. And we will see you in week 10. Good luck, everybody. This has been Drew and Stu. Powered by Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Always remember to bet local. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. 
May the winners be yours. And all of the best bets yet. 